Hi class, on this video too, we're going to learn the basic parts of Logo. So let's get started by going into our uh, newly downloaded Logo here. You're always going to get this screen here. So here, what we can do is we have three sections to this uh, Logo here. As you can see, I can. this is the Commander window here. In this commander window, uh, you can pretty much move it to whatever size you want to make it. You can make it small like that, so you can have a greater view of the turtle's playground. All this whole window here, which can also be uh, maximized or minimized or moved around, is to the playground. This is the turtle here. Up here we have uh, the title bar, which is MS Logo screen. Then we have the menu bar, where you have your file, bitmap, set, zoom, and help. Later on, we'll learn more about those. And uh, here, in this window, is the commander box. So in here, we'll go all your commands that you uh, put in, as well, you will see later. This is the input box here. This is where you're going to input... Uh, whatever commands you're going to do, which we'll get to right now. And then over here is your commander buttons, which you have halt and pause, uh, reset. We'll get into those later. So let's get started here with some simple functions. First, we're going to uh, highlight, you know, put your cursor in the input box. And we're going to make this turtle now move. So basic commands are forward. And you can type in the word forward and then give it how many steps you want it to go forward. Now notice that the turtle is facing up. That's forward up there. So knowing that, you'll know which way it's, is forward, right, left, and back. So we're going to make it go 100 steps. Then you either hit enter on your key button or execute. So execute, as you can see, it went up 100. It went forward 100 steps. Now I typed in the, the word forward. You can also do shortcuts, which would be FD for forward. And we'll make it go 50 this time. Steps, enter. You see it did the same thing too. So instead of typing in the whole word, let's do some shorthand. So now to make a turn, to turn, you're going to go in degrees. So remember that a 90 degrees is a right hand turn. So we're going to say right 90 degrees and then enter. Now you see the turtle here turned 90 degrees. Now it hasn't moved because we haven't told it to go anywhere. So let's type in forward 150 since we made it move that many footsteps. There we go. Make it turn again. Right 90. And then forward. Notice I always give it a, a, a space. 150. Go. And then again. Make it turn 90 degrees. And then forward 150. And there's our square. So other commands that, that are basic are. Uh, where we saw making it turn right, making it go forward. Uh, what about clearing the screen? So we're done with the square. So you can type in clear screen, or you can just say clear for C for clear, S for screen, and then hit enter. And there we go. And as you notice, it got clear, and our turtle went back to its original position. Now, you might think, well, that's too many steps to be uh, typing in right here, as you can see in our commander window. So we can do a, a basic function called repeat. So we're going to be able to do all that in just one sentence. So we're going to say repeat these steps four times. Because there's four steps to this square, we're going to put these in brackets. So we're going to make it go forward 100, right turn 90. Put it in a bracket and let's hit that command and there's our square. Another thing we can do is 
we can make this turtle uh, come up. So remember, the turtle is really a pen. So we're going to go forward 100. Make it up there, and then we're going to make the pen come up. So instead of pen up, typing in pen up, just put P for pen, up for up and then hit enter. Now let's go forward 50 just so we can see that and see the pen is still up. So then we have to put also down pen, pen down, sorry, pen down, enter. So now the pen should have been back down. And now let's test this forward 50 and here it is, pen back down. So we're going to clear the screen, clear screen, enter, and we're back to our normal state. That is the end of this lesson two, of video two. Um, the next lesson we'll get into more detail programming.